Welcome to Live a Better Life Tarot channel. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Your donations are welcome and appreciated. If you are new to my channel, please watch the featured video. It should shed some light on my approach and the way I do my readings. Check out the Soulful Revolution channel. Mary Jo, the owner of that channel, was my inspiration to start this channel. I would have never had the courage to do it if it wasn't for her. The video you are about to watch cannot and will not resonate with everybody. However, if it does, I hope it helps you live a better life one way or the other. Let's begin. Hi Capricorn, this is your March 2020 tarot reading. Let's talk about your existing work or business situation first. We've got the King of Swords, Ten of Swords, clarified by the Queen of Cups. Then we also have the High Priestess and the Fool as the outcome. You could be dealing with an Air Sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius, or a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. I can interpret this spread uh, two different ways. Uh, the first scenario is you are assuming the King of Swords energy and the King of Swords who is uh, very bold, very straightforward, uh, not very emotional and uses his or her brain to uh, you know make decisions um, and I think in this scenario you are assuming the energy of this King of Swords and you're ending um, being very emotional being very um, open to uh, suggestions and you're using your intuition and you're starting a new chapter in your existing work or business adventure basically you're transforming yourself you used to be very um, emotional you would be uh, you know listening to your colleagues but now you're becoming more of a straightforward bold uh, cutthroat kind of a person who doesn't deal with uh, BS anymore who's um, who takes action and you're becoming that kind of a person. Um, another scenario I see here is if you're dealing with uh, a King of Swords, you could be getting into a fight with that person and uh, something happens and your employment or your business adventure could potentially come to an end and you're leaving this organization, you could be uh, switching jobs and uh, this will feel liberating for you even though you will no longer be working there you will feel like you've uh, dropped some kind of a burden you've ended some kind of a emotional um, thing that wasn't serving you anymore and now you're feeling liberated and as if uh, you're starting something new in your life Capricorn, if you're on the quest for a new job or a new business adventure, this spread is for you. We've got the Fool, the Queen of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Empress. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, the Queen of Wands, like I said, it could be that fire sign, or it could be you, assuming that energy. Who, someone who is very fiery, who is ready to uh, you know, launch something new, establish something new, and... The full card, the first card on the left, is a card of a new beginning. So um, you could be starting something with that uh, fire sign. Or you could be starting a new business or a new work um, or a new job this month. And the Three of Pentacles the, is the card of a partnership or somebody could be putting you on the pedestal or it could be you learning new skills. And I really like the Empress card in this spread. This is a card of abundance, a card of who is self-sufficient, who doesn't really need anybody because they've got everything they need. So I think this is a very positive uh, trend, if you, if you may. Um, if you're looking for a new job or a new business adventure this month, uh, it looks very promising, if you ask me. Capricorn, if you're in an established love relationship, this spread is for you. An established love relationship is marriage or a long-term partnership, living together or still living separately. We've got the Seven of Swords, the Emperor, the Empress, and the Five of Cups. You could be dealing with an Aries. 
I'm going to be very straightforward with you guys. Uh, the Emperor and the Empress, this is a husband and a wife or partner or the, the two partners. And uh, the Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater or a card of a thief or a card of a deception. And the Five of Cups card, the card on the right, is a card of somebody who is feel, who is uh, looking back and regretting something that happened in the past. So I think you get the picture, right? We've got the husband and the wife figures, the deception and the regret, right? So something must have gone down between you and your partner in the past or it could be happening in March and then there will be a regret about it, right? So hopefully now that you know it you can avoid it but uh, this is still one of the possibilities. Capricorn, if you're on the quest for new love, this part is for you. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, and the World. Um, well, this is an amazing spread. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles is abundance. Uh, this is buying property together. This is living together. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. And to me, the Ace of Pentacles is the Ace of all Aces, and I don't mean to belittle any other Aces, but the Ace of Pentacles is kind of universe, you know, it, it is called uh, the Ace of Pentacles, right? And the World card is uh, end of a new, uh, end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, or it could be somebody who is uh, coming to see you from overseas, right? And the World sometimes people call it the happy end card so this is uh, this spread has all the ingredients that you need for an amazing new love opportunity like I said we've got the golden opportunity we've got the ten of pentacles which is abundance in the world which is a happy end or somebody could be coming from overseas or coming from another town another state another country to stay with you congratulations Let's talk about past love for you, Capricorn in March. Uh, it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. It could be somebody from two months ago, six months ago, or five years ago. We've got the Magician, the Nine of Swords, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. You could be dealing with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I don't see any reconciliation, per se, but there is definitely an attempt to bring some kind of a relationship back together. Someone is uh, actively manifesting for this relationship to uh, get rebooted and someone is actually stressing out about it. There is a fear and anxiety about this but um, like I said I don't see an actual reconciliation. Um, there is a card of walking away, the Eight of Cups, so perhaps if an offer is extended to rekindle this relationship, the offer will most likely not be accepted. Yeah, so there you go. Let's talk about an advice or a word of wisdom for you Capricorn for March. Uh, we've got the Fool, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and we also have the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I think the advice here is, uh, and this kind of makes me think of the uh, new love spread I did for you a few minutes ago. So the advice here is to uh, get into that relationship and build something solid, something abundant with that person. See, we've got the Fool, which is a new beginning, the Two of Cups, which is a soulmate, unconditional love, and the Knight of Wands is someone or something fiery and passionate talk coming your way with the Ten of Pentacles which is abundance with a partner right so I think the message is very clear like I said get into that relationship and build something together because it has a fantastic potential and there you have it this was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.